Powerful Blessing Prayer for June 2023 Hello friends, it's Joseph and welcome to With Mary, the big family that helps you to pray. Subscribe now and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our new prayers and updates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, I extend my heartfelt wishes for a beautiful and holy month of June. This particular month holds special significance as it is dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, a time of abundant blessings and divine grace. The Holy Spirit, whose power we received at Pentecost, directs our attention to the heart of Jesus, a heart filled with immense love for us and an ever-present desire to shower us with even greater love. It humbly asks for our reciprocal love, filling us with grace and peace repeatedly. We thank you, Lord, for the multitude of blessings you intend to bestow upon us each day of this month of June. We are grateful for your invitation to unite our hearts with yours, just as the Immaculate Heart of Mary is united with yours for our utmost joy. Amen. I now invite you to enter into a moment of silence, and during this time, please entrust your prayer intentions, desires, hopes, and the need for love and peace in your lives for this month of June. Additionally, let us also entrust this world, which increasingly yearns for the love and mercy emanating from the heart of Jesus to the care of our Heavenly Father. I also encourage you to express your gratitude for the blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon you in the comments section of the video. The heart of Jesus ardently longs for our gratitude. Lord, thank you for the abundant blessings you will shower upon me during this month of June. I consecrate each day and every moment of this month to your heart, which burns with merciful love. Amen. We pray to you, Lord, for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. Extend your blessing on our Pope, on all the dimensions of his person and his life. Come to his aid in his difficulties, his suffering, perhaps even his distress and his tears before the situation of the world. Immerse him in your heart, Lord, to give him consolation, strength, blessing in the powerful inspiration of the Holy Spirit for him and for the whole church always accompanied by the Virgin Mary. The Pope's intention for this month is for the abolition of torture. We pray that the international community may commit in a concrete way to ensuring the abolition of torture and guarantee support to victims and their families. Friends, I invite us to unite in this prayer and to reflect upon the profound significance of this theme. Let us remember all those who have suffered under the agony of torture, their physical and emotional wounds, and the lasting impact it leaves upon their lives. Lord, in this sacred month of June, we implore you to guide and inspire the international community to commit themselves resolutely to the cause of ending all torture. May their efforts be guided by justice, compassion, and a deep respect for the inherent dignity of every human being. Grant them the wisdom and courage to implement effective measures, enact necessary laws, and establish comprehensive support systems for the victims and their families. We ask you, Lord, also to shower your mercy upon all those who have experienced the horrors of torture. Lord, heal their wounds, both visible and hidden, and provide them with solace, strength, and the assurance that they are not alone. May they find comfort in the embrace of a caring and understanding community, ready to support them on their path to recovery and restoration. Lord, we lift up our voices in unity, echoing the Pope's call for the abolition of torture. May our prayers serve as a constant reminder to the world of the urgent need to eradicate this abhorrent practice. Father, touch the hearts of those in positions of power and influence, inspiring them to use their authority to safeguard human rights, promote justice, 
and creates a world where torture has no place. As we stand in solidarity with the victims of torture, we also pray for their families. May they find hope, strength and support as they navigate the challenging journey alongside their loved ones. Grant them resilience, comfort their hearts, and let them be beacons of hope and advocates for change. Lord, we entrust this prayer to your infinite compassion, love, and mercy. May it serve as a call to action, inspiring individuals, communities, and nations to work tirelessly towards the abolition of all torture. And may our collective prayers resound with the cry for justice, peace, and healing. We offer this prayer with unwavering hope, trusting in the Lord's mercy, and holding on to the hope that we will live in a world free from the scourge of all torture. Amen. My dear friends, I also invite you to pray for the Pope in the comments of the video and for all the intentions that he carries in his heart for this month of June. Amen. Holy Spirit, we invite you into our lives during this month of June. Fill us with your presence and power. Guide us with your wisdom and understanding. Strengthen us with your fortitude and love. May your fruits flourish within us as we seek to grow in virtue and holiness. Holy Spirit, be with us every step of the way, every moment of this month, and lead us closer to God's perfect will. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. You, O oh, comforters the best, you, the soul's most welcomed guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O oh, most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being fill, where you are not, we have naught, nothing good indeed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore. And confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. In this month of June, the month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, I propose that we read together Psalm 23, the psalm of the Good Shepherd, whose merciful heart fills us with his love. Dear friends, I invite you to welcome the peace and comfort of the Lord which is given to us in this psalm. You can entrust all your prayer intentions to ask for God's peace in every situation. I will pray this psalm twice through so that we may meditate on it deeply. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, you whom we honour in a very special way during this month, we immerse ourselves in you, and we place each day, each hour, each minute and each moment of this month in your heart so that it may be lived in your presence, in your gentle and humble, merciful love. I propose, friends, that we meditate together on the Word of God where Jesus speaks to us from his heart. Here too, I will read the passage twice so that we may go deep with it in prayer. Amen. From the Gospel according to St. Matthew At this time Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. At this time Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will, all things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O Jesus, gentle and humble heart, make our hearts like yours. Amen. St. Thomas More, whose feast we honour and celebrate on June the 22nd, we call upon your intercession this month with humble hearts. Your unwavering faith and courage in the face of adversity inspire us. Help us to follow your example in upholding truth and defending our faith, living with integrity and moral virtue each day. May we prioritise our relationship with God above all else and make choices in alignment with his divine will. As the patron of lawyers and statesmen, guide those in positions of authority to govern with justice and compassion. Aid us in our professional and personal endeavours that we may always seek the greater good and remain steadfast in our Christian values. We humbly ask for your prayers and guidance in all our intentions and challenges May your intercession strengthen our faith, hope and love. 
St. Thomas More, pray for us. Amen. O Lord, give us a mind that is humble, quiet, peaceable, patient and charitable, and a taste of your Holy Spirit in all of our thoughts, words and deeds. O Lord, give us a lively faith, a firm hope, a fervent charity, a love of you. Take from us all lukewarmness in meditation and all dullness in prayer. Give us fervor and delight in thinking of you, your grace and your tender compassion towards us. Give us, good Lord, the grace to work for all things we pray for. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, whose feast we celebrate on June 13th, we humbly seek your intercession and implore your help this month. You are a great example of faith and compassion, known for your eloquent preaching and miraculous interventions. Help us immerse ourselves in love of Jesus, placing each moment in his sacred heart. May we experience his gentle and merciful love in our lives. As the finder of lost things and a compassionate advocate, we turn to you in our times of need. Pray for us this month and bring our intentions before our loving Saviour. Guide us in our search for guidance, healing and reconciliation. We entrust ourselves to your care, Saint Anthony, and ask for your powerful intercession. May we grow in faith, hope and love, following your example and devotion to God. Amen. O holy Saint Anthony, gentlest of saints, your love for God and charity for his creatures made you worthy, when on earth, to possess miraculous powers. Encouraged by this thought, I implore you to obtain for me the request I now make. O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, Whisper my petition into the ear of the sweet infant Jesus, who loved to be folded in your arms. The gratitude of my heart will ever be yours. Amen. Saint Joseph, in this prayer for the month of June, we come to you seeking your fatherly love. We entrust to you our family, work, activities, financial and material situation, our spiritual life, and the entire church for which you are the guardian. May you be near to us at every moment as the head of the Holy Family, guiding our hearts towards the sacred heart of Jesus, which you loved deeply. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Do not be afraid, Joseph, son of David. Take Mary, your wife, into your home. Righteous man, you call him Jesus, the begotten of the Holy Spirit in Mary. Saint Joseph, father of Jesus, pray for the church and for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Virgin Mary, Our Lady, we offer each day of this month to you, seeking your presence and tenderness. Beloved Mother, we desire to be with you every moment, and thus we dedicate this month, our families and the world to your care. We honour your most pure and immaculate heart, which you revealed at Fatima as our refuge and the path leading to God. We are grateful, Virgin Mary, for your immaculate heart, to which we wholeheartedly entrust ourselves in this prayer, surrendering ourselves completely to God. In our prayers, we intercede for the salvation of sinners, for peace in the world, for all Christian families, and for the intentions of the Pope for this month. 
I, a faithless sinner, renew and ratify today in thy hands the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan, his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life, and to be more faithful to him than I have been before. In the presence of the heavenly court, I choose thee this day for my mother and mistress. I deliver and consecrate to thee as thy slave, my body and soul, my goods, both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God in time and in eternity. Amen. Virgin Mary, beloved Mother, we offer all our intentions to you in this month of June. Joining in union with the saints, we celebrate each day. Saint John the Baptist, Saint Peter, Saint Paul, Saint Anthony of Padua, and many others. I invite you, friends, to pray in this decade for the events of this month, encompassing global occurrences, personal matters, our families, work, relationships, all appointments for our health. May God's presence be felt in all that we have experienced or will experience during this month. Lord, come and alleviate our difficulties and bless the significant moments we encounter through the intercession of Mary. I also extend a special invitation to entrust those who will be celebrating a birthday or an anniversary in this month of June as well as for all of our loved ones. I send to each one of you my heartfelt wishes for a joyous birthday and anniversary, and I pray for abundant blessings upon all of you who join in this prayer, seeking the intercession of the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Amen. We entrust the month of June to you, St. Michael the Archangel, seeking your protection from all evil influences. Safeguard us from the snares of the enemy and defend us in times of temptation and spiritual battles. Our intention is to refrain from committing any sins throughout this month. By the grace of God, assist us in realizing the desire and teach us to seek forgiveness with humility and simplicity should we stumble. Holy Guardian Angel, Saint Michael, I express my gratitude and my love for your constant companionship during each day of this month. May the thought of you frequently enter my mind as you perpetually contemplate the face of God. Amen. Most noble Prince of the Angelic Hierarchies, Valiant Herald of the Most High God, Champion of Divine Glory, Terror of Rebellious Angels, and Delight of Faithful Angels, Deign to accept me among your protégés. I offer myself to you, I give myself to you, I consecrate myself to you, placing my person, my family and my goods under your all-powerful protection. I know that the offering of myself is very little, but I do not doubt that you will want to make my heart grow in fervor and protect those who have recourse to you. From now on, may you assist me in all the difficulties of my earthly existence and implore from God the forgiveness of my faults and the grace to love him with Jesus my Redeemer and Mary, my sweet mother, with all of my will. May your assistance prepare me to receive in heaven the crown of glory. Defend my soul against all of its enemies, and when the time comes for me to leave this world, come then, most glorious Prince, to support me in the final struggle. May your glittering sword drive away into the abyss of death and hell the prevaricating angel whose absurd pride you have overcome. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to you. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Thomas More, pray for us. All the saints of this month of June, 
pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Our holy guardian angel, watch over us, guard us and protect us. All the saints of heaven, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoyed this blessing prayer for June, I encourage you to share it with others in order to spread the blessings of the Sacred Heart on all hearts, especially those who are currently suffering. To thank you for participating, I want to offer you my free digital ebook, The Five Essential Keys to Effective Prayer. Click on the link that appears now or in the comments. And don't forget to sign up for our current prayer journey. Friends, thank you for this prayer. And may the Lord abundantly pour out His Holy Spirit upon you through this month of June. May you be immersed in the loving hearts of Jesus and Mary. And may you receive the power that flows from His sacred heart. May God bless you. And I look forward to joining you soon for our next prayer. Until then, joy in Jesus.